Welcome back to part six of my Piast game. We have recently made our empire title, the Empire of Poland, um, just under 50 years into the game. So we've managed to go from Duke up to Emperor. Uh, our character is kind of getting on in years. He does have some health benefits. He does have some health penalties. Our heir is ready to go. Um, he's going to inherit everything. And he's had a daughter of his own. He's looking pretty good, got him that robust trait. His wife has intelligence, so we're hoping for a nice male heir, hopefully, um, oh, on them. Uh, might look to just kind of expand a little bit more, but we're probably gonna be slowing it down. Uh, probably take this guy out pretty soon here. Uh, just gonna wait until I get a little bit more gold first. Um, I am going to keep an eye on maybe switching to Catholicism eventually. Uh, looks like everyone will convert with me if I do it now. So I may actually end up doing that. Um, we'll see. So my wife has passed away. Oh, Lotharingia just broke up. Um, the other way that we kind of still do want to expand is Palabia, who we're actually allied to right now, so we're, we're just going to leave that until our alliance naturally breaks up. Uh, and then we could look to expand eastwards as well. This Simogitia? Simogot? <laughs> Simogidia? I don't, I'm not sure. Um, we could also expand up here. It looks like our vassal? Yeah, our vassal is uh, trying to expand into that land, so that's good. Uh, it helps us out when our allies expand. Um, but probably going to take it easy on this character until he finally eventually passes away here. Uh, I'll just save up a little bit more gold and then I think I'm going to grab this. He's basically got no troops. Um, but he does have a couple allies. What are we looking at here? 2200 with his allies. Um, so that's my son who has had a very difficult life. <laughs> Somehow he's still serving as a champion. He has cancer, one eye, one leg, scarred, and he's actually a eunuch. Uh, poor guy. Uh, this should be a pretty straightforward war though. Um, yeah, the game's been going pretty, pretty easy so far. Uh, the one thing that we're a little bit worried about is that the Pope has called for um, Crusades. He hasn't actually called a Crusade yet, but he does have access to Crusades, so we could be that target. It's, it's a very real possibility. Uh, and if that does happen, then we're going to switch almost instantly to Catholicism. <laughs> we will bend the knee. Um, part of our process of adopting feudal um, requires us to be of an organized faith, so it's either reform or faith, or uh, just switch to Catholicism, which I think is the easier play here. So we need to get the development in our capital up to five. Uh, we need to get absolute crown authority, which we could switch now. Uh, one higher. Oh, no, we're on three. Excuse me, I thought that I needed uh, to go up again. So we're not too far away from that. Uh, maybe I'll just start developing the capital, actually. I may end up switching my capital We'll see. Uh, the capital of Poland is Krakow in, in the game. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I may just keep it where it is. Uh, I'll let him pick. <laughs> I've been torturing him with these... Uh, with these... Um, Ill illness treatments with his cancer treatments and it's, it's been a difficult life for him uh, okay whose child are you right so this is my firstborn son who we disinherited uh, because we want to play uh, the son with the trait the inheritable trait uh, but we still have them as a backup just in case we need them so I am going to do this Oh, he just formed an alliance with Bavaria. That's kind of annoying. Um, 
Palabia is not up to anything, and we're not really doing anything with this prestige on this character, so we might as well just call him in, make it easy on ourselves. He's only got two counties anyway, so it shouldn't be too difficult to just win this. Uh, we came in here to get gold to make our empire title, which we're done with now. I guess I could just head down here and get centralization to help that development growth in the capital. Basically just trying to wait out this character's final days. Um, maybe what I'll do is start flagellating on cooldown? Okay, I already have that notification. Um... got here another crummy book okay and then the last thing that we need in order to feudalize is we have to get through I think 70% of these civics here okay nice and easy This guy is Catholic. Maybe I'll just give him this. We are going to switch eventually, so I'm not going to bother trying to convert him. And I'll just hold on to this other random stuff down here. Uh, we do have access to this. I'm pretty sure that we need to be Catholic in order to make this, or we need to be feudal, actually. That's probably more it. Uh, but we'll be able to do that eventually, so I do hope to hold on to that one. Kaslav in Bohemia. Which is also a really powerful duchy, but it's just going to be kind of messy getting it as our capital, so I don't think I'll bother with that. Also feels more right to just stick with a Polish county. Okay. Right, so they had one daughter. She's sickly, but she did get... Uh, Quick, at least, so that's something. And I'm just trying to decide if I want to switch to Catholicism now. It's going to be a process. Oh, our alliance actually just ended, didn't it? No, it didn't. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a process of converting. Uh, looks like Hungary has converted as well. So Palabia is going to be in a really bad situation once we convert. Denmark is still a Satru, though. These guys up here are still a Satru. And then we have these Vitalists on the other side of us. So these guys might become an issue. Uh, I'm not too worried about them though. I think it makes more sense at this point uh, that we just go Catholic. Uh, this was always in my plan to switch. So sorry to those of you who were hoping that I would stay with the Slovianskin game, but I think it's easier, it's an easier route to um, accomplishing our goals of adopting feudalism if we just go Catholic. Uh, yeah, so we just need a little bit of that development growth, and then we need to research these innovations. Um, so what's it doing now? Right, okay, so this guy was acting as this job for us, but now he's back in the line of succession. Uh, we can imprison him. It's going to cause some tyranny. I don't think that we actually have any right now, so only 20 tyranny might not be too bad. Um, doing that would allow me to avoid disinheriting him. That's our other play here. I'd like to save my renown as much as possible. This guy really doesn't serve a purpose, sorry to say. Uh, so yeah, let's just imprison him. And we'll throw him in the dungeon. I believe that we're going to get a notification. Yeah, we did get Know Thyself on this character. So we are in poor health. Uh, we'll see what happens. We got a really old patriarch. Uh, 
might be time. I guess we can still only raise this to the second level, but let's at least do that. Uh, we're making a lot more money than we were when we lowered this. We still can't get any higher than that while we're in a tribal government. Being raided. Come here, you. Dealing with raiding is like one of my least favorite things in this game. So how's the war here going? Uh, that one looks like it's going okay, and then another one of our vassals is got a war over here. Um, we can actually holy war for kingdom now, and since we only get one per lifetime, maybe we should just use it on this character. Uh, the other option would be this, except we still have the alliance here, uh, and his his is split three ways, so probably avoid that. Holy war for kingdom. Yeah, these are all messy. Ugh. So maybe I should do this before I die. We have a little bit of gold saved up. Oops, come on. Okay, so it looks like our granddaughter recovered. That's good. Uh, we're still hoping for them to have more kids, hopefully. I can't believe that some people actually prefer this guy. He is so bad. I guess because he's arrogant, maybe? Well, this guy's compassionate. Yeah, okay, I get it. Uh, we can start getting money off the Pope now that we're Catholic. Always a nice benefit. Is he not giving it to us? Okay. I kind of want to flagellate, but I want my son dealt with first. Uh, maybe I'll just torture him. Had to be done. Okay, now he's now he's gonna go. <laughs> found holy order. Have they founded a holy order in Catholicism yet? Wow, I could actually do the first one. It's kind of tempting. It would be down here. It's the only city I have. Uh, let's just hold off on that. I don't think that's necessary. Um, no alliance from this, but he actually wants his daughter and my grandson to marry. It's interesting. We've attracted the attention of the Byzantine Emperor. Uh, yeah, okay, he's actually got a third war now. Uh, all of my vassals are just ganging up on him, but I think we'll just get this done. It should be pretty easy. I believe that all his other wars end. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. Call our ally in. We're not going to use our prestige for anything else in this character. So there's his army. Uh, he's actually already sieged that thing down. Just siege this quickly. Oh, there comes our ally. Um, so maybe I'll hold off getting this daughter married until we take over as our son. Infirm. Okay. I could get remarried, but I think I'll just skip it. Hopefully we can just get this war done and then we'll become our heir. Okay. So we're back to having our succession ready to go. And then there's the warning that we're going to die within a year. I guess we can start converting to Catholicism. It's going to take a while to convert everything. I believe that this war will still be going uh, once we become our heir. 
so it's not really a big deal. Uh, it's been a very productive life, this guy. Our second king. Our second, our first emperor, I should say. Our second character. Okay, let's just head to his capital now, I think. Um, so they've had their second daughter. Great traits. Nice to have. Uh, but we're still hoping for a son at some point. Just double check this. Yeah, okay. This guy is a eunuch. That's why he's not able to get anything. What are we working towards here? I think I went, yeah, okay, we do need siege weapons. That's going to help these wars out once we get them. Tons of war going on in our land. Uh, our vassals are a little bit of a mess, but nothing much we can do about that right now. Yeah, we might die before this happens. So there's that. Uh, we've inherited all our titles. 35 years on that guy. We're taking over on a decently young character, at least. Uh, interesting that their helm changed. High King Wonko. Um, starting off our reign. Winning a Holy War. That's pretty good. I don't think that counts as this character's. Yeah, no, it doesn't. We can't declare another one yet because we don't have the right um, level of devotion, but that still counts as our father's war because he's the one that started it, so we still do have access to another one. What is that? Interesting. Looks like Hungary had some type of revolt from their uh, Taltois... Taltosism? Faction? Uh, so that's good. I am going to continue on as our next character, High King Wonko, in the next part. Um, thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.